I knew that torture is practiced in quite a high number of countries, some more widespread or even systematic than in others, but it is a global phenomenon. But I did not expect that the conditions of detention are that bad as they are. Uh, and that's why one of my recommendations is that time has come to actually draft and adopt the United Nations Convention on the rights of detainees. Many prisons are overcrowded, filthy. Um, there's no privacy, no possibility. Uh, even very often you don't have any kind of toilets. I have seen in Equatorial Guinea, for instance, that people spend a long time in police detention, um, which is usually meant for 24, or perhaps 48 hours. There were months there, nothing, just a concrete floor, overcrowded. Sometimes they had to sleep in shifts. The families is bringing uh, the water in a bottle, which they afterwards use for urinating, or they bring plastic bags with food, which they afterwards have to use for defecating, because there is just no toilet available. And then they throw it all out, so the bars, uh, you can imagine the hygienic conditions. Um, unfortunately, uh, there are persons from different countries um, where also the US administration says we are not going to send them against their will to their countries of origin. Uh, and that means that they need, we need resettlement to third countries. I'm very encouraged that there are certain European governments and others who were willing uh, and are willing to take uh, Guantanamo detainees, but in my opinion, it's not enough. Uh, there are still some 40, 50 people where we need resettlement, and I'm, I'm still calling upon other countries to actually um, assist uh, the uh, US administration. It is a global phenomenon that children are put in detention, and including also in highly industrialized states, uh, where we always again find uh, that illegal immigrants, uh, that un unaccompanied minors, the sans papier, those without papers, uh, we always again find people below the age of 18 uh, that are actually locked up in, in, uh, in and they have not committed any, in, any kind of crime apart from illegally entering a country uh, in, and often for many weeks and months pending deportation. Yeah.